Good kitten internet. Meow. Oh, the I meow's on your lap. I also have a kitty right on my lap. Yep. The camera's still tilted up too high. I'll fix that later. Not a big deal. Anyway, where we last left off, we did some design work for Stroud Eklund, or I should say, just talk to people. And now we need to do some missions for them so they can get data. And the first thing we're going to do is transport scientists to Aquila, specifically to the Trident Luxury Star Line Star Yard. So let's do that. We have two days and 11 hours to do it. Are they actually in your ship? Because I yes. haven't done a transport mission before. So let me go talk to them, because I'm curious. I'm pretty sure they don't have it to say. Like, okay, hello. <laughs> also, I want to see my new modules. You know, where I have to eternally climb to get to anything. I'm listening. Oh, did I not align them properly? I really hate the ones that are multiple ladders. Yeah. Well, and this is temporary, so I'm less concerned about it. Mm-hmm. At least it looks like they... I usually take something for anxiety before I fly. But I don't have anything on me. I'm I thought I heard debt. something. Thanks for the ride. Are ships supposed to sound like that? You'll check it, right? You must be very well trained to fly a ship like this. Sure. I usually take something for anxiety before oh, I fly. Stay. But I don't have anything on me. Oh no, you're just identical to mm -hmm. that person. Yep. And then I there's another one. Higher up. Are ships supposed to sound like that? You'll check it, right? It's a little more crowded. And this was the all-in-one? Yes, this is the all-in-one. Yeah. And the one below is the passenger. Yes. We... Is that some sort of stunt gone wrong, or...? No, that's just me being lazy. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind. When you have the time. Well, that's right. A lot of people want to talk you, to me. You're, so let's um, talk. You're, you're something else. Late at night in dive bars. Sometimes the old timers share stories. About things they've seen that they just couldn't explain. <laughs> Ghost stories, if you will. I've heard of things like the Starbone before. But they're real. Honest to God, real. We're there. I believe it myself, and I was there. I genuinely considered mass hysteria, but the sensor logs confirm it. It's real. So the obvious question is, what the hell are they? Everyone's going to be thinking aliens, but maybe not. Their ships were incredible. But they still felt like ships. They had engines, weapons, I think I even made out a grav drive. If they were really alien, I would just expect it to be more... alien, you know? I mean, it could be some secret Freestar Varun or UC tech. But I don't know. I don't know what they are. Anybody that says they know for sure are lying. I'm going to throw in another wild stab in the dark theory. Maybe they're from outside our known systems. Here's the hypothetical. Centuries ago, some brainiac scientists decide to play settler. But they go way, way beyond any place we've ever been to set up stakes. Once they get there, they make a few lucky breakthroughs, and their science just snowballs from there. I can see them getting further, faster, and hence become the starboard. Well, we haven't seen that in this save. That was my other character that discovered oh, yes. that lovely crucible. crucible, yes. If I got it right, then you owe me a steak dinner. One way or the other, yeah, we are not steak. alone. And that's <laughs> that's both exciting and terrifying. Can we get a moment? Can we talk? We just did! Maybe it's about something else? 
Maybe he wants to get married. Ever since we started being a couple, but at a certain point... Darn it. I didn't read news. Cora, we, we got to make sure Cora's all right with this. I never tire of your company. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. I'm Ever trying. since we started uh, being a couple, but at oh, yep. a certain I need to get familial approval. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Good luck. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. I'm told you. I keep meaning to, and you know, there's just never the right time. All right, I keep checking out about it. You got me. Yeah. I'm just so damn happy. It's hard to rock the boat. I mean, I think things are going super well, too. Right. Sorry, you You know you play hell with my attention span sometimes. But it's not just about you and As me. As Cora is walking it's right It's about my daughter, too. Us. I'm not sure how much you've talked with Cora. Uh, I've talked with Cora a but lot, I think you should. actually. Hey, if you're happy with what we have right now, you don't have to. But if we get much more serious... I need to know Cora's on board. Cora is on board. We just saw her walk <laughs> by. Yeah, shouldn't you be the one to talk to her? <laughs> she doesn't bite well how to do more. Oh, I'm gonna talk with her too. But Cora and I are a package deal. Uh, she needs to get to know you and at least be okay with us being an item. I really hope that's not a deal breaker. Time to talk with Cora. Ah, don't worry about it. She doesn't bite. Well, not anymore. Oh. I was going to do something else. Yeah. Oh, I didn't start a timer. Oh, yeah, you should probably do that. We are at seven minutes, so set it for 53. I hope you're having a good day. You keep installing new cool things in your ship. Didn't use your it's like Christmas every day. Bye. Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that I mean, grab she probably tech already cheating? Knows. I'm assuming she already knows. Because remember, she's actually perceptive. Mm -hmm. Sam is not. <laughs> So, I hope you're not too worried about the Starborn. Worried? No, I think it's fascinating. I know they maybe seem scary at first, but what if it's just a threat display? You know, how lots of species will puff themselves up or show off their teeth and growl to scare off anything they don't like. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just a kid. Right. We should just keep an open mind. Sure sounds like we haven't seen the last of them, so I guess we'll see what happens. So who's your favorite member of Constellation? <laughs> Is this a trick question? I'm not going to get in trouble, am I? No matter who I pick? You're picking Barrett, aren't you? You're, you're her third favorite? Well, Dad's second favorite. Uh -huh. Maybe it's Andresia. I'm intentionally not mousing over the first one. So what happens if I tell? You won't. If you tell, I'll tell everybody in Constellation that you said your favorite person was me. Then you'll be in trouble. But you are my favorite person in Constellation. And it isn't your dad? It isn't your dad? No way! Choosing my own dad would be boring. Dad's my second favorite. Ahem, <clears throat> but maybe if my book allowance was bigger, <laughs> that would change. I won't tell anybody. Phew! <laughs> I'm glad you said so. My favorite person really? in Constellation is Sarah. She's so cool. I want to grow up to be just like her. <laughs> I've even been practicing being a leader by bossing <laughs> my dad around. 
I don't think he likes it much. Your turn. No fair asking a question if you aren't going to answer it too. Detective Core is on the case. But I should probably answer as your dad, given that I'm in a romantic relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Well, I bet he'd be happy if you told him that. Yeah. I think you're one of his favorite people, too. So about that, Cora. A brief you, history of power. time. See you later. How on earth do you do that? Sometimes I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. So about that. Good. I've been yeah, wanting to ask perceptive. you something too. Me first. Why did you help us out with mom? It was super dangerous. <laughs> Again. Obvious. Even dad barely agreed to help me out, and he's my father. I just don't know why... Why you do so much for us. I always help my friends. That's the answer. Mm -hmm. Even when you could die and stuff. Huh. What are your intentions with my father? <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting something like that. You heard me. Your intentions. Now. <laughs> I figured it was something like that. Just so you know, I like you too. Dad's never been happier. Well, We've never been happier. So if you guys need to sneak off to smooch some more sometime, <laughs> you have my blessing. That's how it works, right? Pretty much. Nope. Yep. You're very welcome. All right, Sam. Power. So, how'd the talk with Cora go? <laughs> yeah, good one. For real, what did she say about us? <laughs> she says we're good for each other. You're not the only co I care about, after all. I sometimes wonder how she could be my kid. She's smarter than I ever was. I keep thinking back to what you were saying, that we're lucky. I don't know, luck is uh, too small a word. With so many people out there, the odds of well, finding you feels like uh, destiny. I mean, <laughs> look, I'm trying to play it cool. But you gotta know. I'm crazy about you. And, well, how do you see this playing out? Ooh, I have a commitment option. Yep, that's marriage. Yeah, time to speed run this. <laughs> right when I think I've got it all figured out, you just rock my world again. In the very best way. Holidays. I mean, I hoped, maybe even prayed. You mean it, right? I assume that means you want it too? I'm just gonna look at the others, but... Yes. I mean, hell yes. <laughs> well, apparently we're having a ceremony. Anytime you're ready, head over to Aquila City. Figure it's about time to make some genuine good memories at the Co-Estate. Can't wait. 
now undismissible until that happens. Mm-hmm. But first, we have other things in Aguila. And Indreja wants to talk to me. And time, Barrett wants I've to talk to me. I've been thinking about some things. Wanted to talk to you about it. Hmm? Okay. Do you need something? Before anything else, let's drop off these yeah. passengers. Because otherwise, I'm going to run out of time. <laughs> That's one thing I like about this game. Everyone wants to talk to me, and everyone loves me so much. And, think, and they all think I'm awesome, but... Plants released. We're free. No, not bending. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I at least have slightly better engines now. You mean reactor? Yes. Well, you didn't put us into a planet, so we must be in the right place. Yes, Sarah, that's our only, only two options. In the right place or inside a planet. Hello, Narcissus. Shipyards a lot bigger. They tend to make bigger ships. Yeah, they tend to have yachts. And class M. We're docked. Mm -hmm. Cruise liners. All right. Presumably, I have to board to drop off the passengers. Where to next? I'm not sure if you need to. But... Yep. I did. Hmm? Are you gonna go get married on Aquila while you're here? Yep. I mean, I'm already here, might as well get married, right? <laughs> Shortest engagement ever. As opposed All to hours. Green release. <laughs> <laughs> for reference, we were engaged for 10 years before we got married. <laughs> Empty nest is closer to the center, so. What? Oh, no. Derp. I was thinking that was the name of my apartment. No. No. No, it's not. The empty nest is the Shogang hideout where you found yes. artifact cheap. I remember that now. Uh, you can hit G from the scanner for the local map. Yep. <laughs> from this scanner. from the scanner, I know. I even recognized what you were saying as I <laughs> throwing the grenade. But I think that leaves your ship at it's fine. The empty nest. I'll be teleporting out of here anyway. Yeah. We're fast traveling. I wonder how this marriage ceremony is going to take place. Who's also, we have the other part of this yeah. quest. Oh dear, I need to go talk with Jacob. Is he going to officiate? Never quite had a friend like you. Well, I'm just your friend now? But of course. Enjoy. Enjoy. Chlorine! <laughs> Take care, Enjoy right? this chlorine! <laughs> Sam? You need to work on this romance thing. <laughs> I'm not necessarily the most romantic person on the planet. Even I know not to do that. Hey there. And I'll just let it recover instead of using. Because then we'd have to switch powers. Yes, and I know I would forget. L for missions, because that makes sense. L for log. Yes, but they don't call it a log anywhere. Yeah, I always 
always forget where the co manor is. Nope, I'm doing that first. Part two of a quest. And kids get priority. I'm Annie Wilcox. You You're new in town, aren't you? That means I'm gonna keep my eye on you. If you see anything fishy, come grab me. Oh, right, no, it's not part two. I've done that quest with my other character. Never mind, I'm going to do this first. Although it is nighttime, this is actually the time to mm -hmm. do this. Is it before midnight? <laughs> <laughs> don't know. No one's gonna believe Akuma me if City I tell them you could do that. Away. And it's up to us rangers to do something. And ranger surveillance assistance. Someone's stealing guns and stuff from the raid of arms. And none of the adults believe us. So we're hoping, gravity. you know, you can help. My mother is senior ranger Emma Wilcox. And she said that I am a ranger surveillance assistant. Ask her yourself. Price. Sam isn't saying something about this. So my other character did this after becoming a ranger? Mm -hmm. Because they're dumb. I give security whole lists of crimes and leads, and they barely pay attention anymore. I'm practically doing their job <laughs> for them. Tell me what this is about. Certainly. I was doing my ranger patrol one night, and there was a suspicious character casing Laredo arms. I watched him as long as I could, but I had to rush home for bedtime. <clears throat> First thing in the morning, I came back and interrogated Justin Sneed, and he said they were tracking down an inventory discrepancy. I told him about the suspicious stranger, but Mr. Sneed didn't believe me. got at least some proof, right? I've checked back regularly with Mr. Sneed. Well, up until he told me I'm trespassing. And he said their new inventory system keeps, um, hiccuping. But it's no hiccup. It's robbery. This case was too big for just one ranger. So I deputized Emily. I'm an assistant ranger surveillance assistant. Or, um, something <laughs> like that. And we found out that the thief breaks in most nights. But, like, really late. He's got his own key card. We just need to catch him. Security will believe you. We did all the things. Crime scene investigated. Witnesses interviewed. And suspect tailed. And you did all that? Aquila City Security's got competition. Oh, um, please don't tell Cora. She's, uh, a <laughs> handful enough without getting more ambitious ideas. I followed the suspect all day. He had no idea. He has a key card? Emily caught him opening the side door one night. That's when we knew for sure we have an actual criminal here. Let's see what I can do. You're doing Aquila City a big service. Best I figure he's there around midnight. You need to wait for him to exit Laredo, then catch him red handed. We need to bring him to justice. Okay, what time is it? Helping Anne has been the most exciting thing happening all year. Where is the time there? It's. Oh, 426. Nope. Yeah. We're, we're not getting, doing that now. We're getting married. Yep, sorry, we're getting married. But first, I apparently need to ask Dad's permission. Or maybe he's going to officiate the wedding? Citizen? I have not been able to uh, marry Andresia yet because... Because I don't worship the Great Serpent. Oh. Um, uh, 
been just hung. Maybe your video card overheating. But I did recently marry Barrett, and oh, that was hilarious. Now the real question is, did the recording stop? No. No. It's still going. Okay. Yeah, that was a video card driver crash. And temperatures. Nope. It's actually cooler than it was before. Okay. All right. Relaunching. I'll just pause while this is going. And we're back. Uh, it looks like the last save was the quick save from before I talked with Emma. So I quickly fast forwarded through that conversation. Then Annie. With Annie, right. Emma's the mother. mother. And this will be fun. Oh, boy. I'm going to need lots of persuade checks, aren't I? Maybe. Use your power. Before I talk, at least. Who are you? Oh. The mayor. Apparently, this is his for officiation. Apparently, we're having a ceremony today. Although, right now, it's just me and the mayor cooling our heels here. Jacob, it's a special day. This always happens. No, this is my son and his usual sloppiness. Yeah, you're right. Manners. Welcome to my house. Well, in a, in a sense, your house, too. Soon. Listen, you know, I know. Hell, the neighbors know my son and I don't always get along. <laughs> I do care about him. He's blood. And he gave me Cora. But the way he looks at you, you, you have a chance at real happiness together. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> I already have dad. Sorry. Yeah. Can't replace dad. But just because you and Sam don't get along doesn't mean that we can't. I could get behind that. You might be a good influence on my boy. After the ceremony, it looks like I get to have Cora for a little bit. I don't know if you had anything to do with Sam doing that. But if you did, you have no idea what it means to me. Is she? Well, of course. Awkward small talk over. Lillian Hart should have oh, arrived. Oh, Lillian is attending my marriage. Might be nice if someone went to meet her. And better fetch Cora, too. She's exploring the city. Which means she's at Sinclair's bookstore because she's, well, Cora. Cora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course she is. Is Lillian going to flake on the ceremony? Well, I'm going to grab Cora first. Yeah. There's one if more you're looking important. for work, Mayor Cartwright might have something. I'm not looking or for work Or won't you right the now. right way. Outside the wall, things get dicey. Asta are no joke. In for us. Capacity? 97.5. <clears throat> I'm on the roof. You could pick that particular book up anywhere. Sure. But your shop is, like, the best in the galaxy. I had to drop by. Well, thank you. You, my dear, are welcome any time. So many books to read and so little time. Wait a second. If you want to purchase anything, just let me know. Or if you have any rare finds. Anything I am for? a bit of an aficionado of old Earth novels. Well, truth be told, it's more of an obsession. <laughs> Reading their stories is a revelation, not only for, you know, the pure imagination, but the window you get into long gone historical eras. I'll pay handsomely for any books you find like that, except Charles Dickens. Definitely not Charles Dickens. Yeah, not gonna blame you there. Oh, oh nothing wrong at all. No, there's a lot of things when wrong. When colonists were forced to leave Earth for good, cargo space was precious and for some reason, everyone thought to bring their Charles Dickens collection. This explains it. No, no, I mean, I mean, he was an amazing writer. His stories are timeless. But 
what I'd give for a copy of Sense and Sensibility. Or the Three Musketeers, oh! The original Three Musketeers, mind you. Not the dozens <laughs> of interpretations of it. I feel the same way about a good book. Who doesn't? Why is your arm in that position, though? I have any books for your old art oh. collection? I'll tell you. I'm afraid there's nothing you have that I... I don't have any on me. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Because there's a specific book that I was looking for mm -hmm. that's not here. Try it. But she has the ancient civilization of Egypt that gives you a um, snow globe. Blue. Mm. The Cairo landmark. Gotcha. You don't even have to read it. Yep, I just need the book. Anyway, I'm really here for... There's also a magazine, if you haven't already picked it up. Um, on a table. Yeah, there. Power. Like save first. Holy shit. Oh, I ain't hi. never getting used to that. I got a new that. book. Charles Dickens. Fiction. Great expectations. Not related to today. Or is it? <laughs> expectations. What time is it? Book. Shit! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I lost track of time. Yeah, it's like 4.45 in the morning. Wait, what? You are joking, right? Please, uh, don't. I want to let you know I'm okay with this. The ceremony? Dad is dad, but he's lonely and you make him happy. And I like your ship loads. Oh, and you, too, <laughs> of course. Priorities. <laughs> Do we have a really good ship? I mean, pirates run away from it screaming after mm -hmm. all. I, uh, wow, no tears, big girl, I love you too, very, very much, so, big day, let's get to it, I'll get to the estate right away. All right. <sighs> and now Lillian. Yep. It's been a pretty good year. Why does the citizen look we like she has a hangover? For the Maybe she does. The higher ups. You didn't hear this from me. I mean, there are so many bars in that game. Yeah, and a quiet place would include a bookstore, so that's not the worst place to recover there's, from a yeah. hangover. There's a hangover. Yeah, I suppose that's reasonable. Yes, yes, I know. Don't care. <laughs> Bit up there, huh? Space. Hello, Lillian. So, you're the one that's picking me up? Nice to see you in a less life-threatening situation. <laughs> Give it time. We might have people shooting at us yet. Spring's eternal. Just to let you know, this shouldn't be awkward. Sam and I were never meant for each other, and we both moved on from whatever we had. Someone solicited advice. Be there for him. All the way. He and Cora deserve that. I'm not gonna spend every minute with them, but you know, I know what you mean. Good. Sam doesn't want codependency. He wants a partner, a real one. I know the way to the Co Estate. Meet you there. All right. Time to go get married. Or committed. You have a nice day now.
Sam is no longer following you. Well, everyone's here. You ready to start the shindig? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'll let Mr. Cartwright know. Welcome, everyone. <clears throat> One of my again, favorite duties as mayor is to preside over joyous occasions like this. Couples like yourselves, full of love and affection and eager to share a life together. Well, it's a blessing. Oh, we're a blessing now. Mayor's laying it on real thick, Annie. <laughs> Why is that constantly in the corner? And yes, I still have it up. <laughs> I had mine with a side of delicious anticipation. <clears throat> Sam, have you prepared any vows? Oh, right. Um. Oh no. Here goes. Um. Life comes easy for some folks. They get most things right the first time, but uh, that has never ever been me but this time i know i got it right because of you i know you've had a tough life too but we really are the lucky on ones Sam's face. there are a million billion stars out there to find anything that really matters is kind of a miracle and as the good mayor says i'm truly blessed because i have you in my life I think what it is, is that the lighting is being blocked from his face, except Bethesda screwed up the lighting. So it ends up being where his eyes are lighter colored, because the lighting is dim in here. <laughs> it's like his hat does the opposite of shade. Ooh. Future unclear if I don't have vows. Always mention you and me both. Look out, galaxy. I understand you wanted a moment here, Sam. I never met someone who knew me, the real me, and still wanted to be with me. I want you to have this. Florine. It's my Free Star oh. Ranger badge. Aww. Looking back, I'm grateful. Because every step and every misstep brought me closer to you. That's very touching. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the power vested in me from the Articles of Confederation, I officially, and quite happily, declare you life mates. Let me be the first to congratulate you both. Reach maximum relationship level with a companion. How on earth do you do I that? I never smiled that wide. Almost scary. Congratulations to the happy couple. My boy better treat you right. I just can't stop smiling around you. I got a reputation to maintain, you know? How do you feel about our marriage? There are no words. I need better words, <laughs> stronger words to talk about you. <laughs> I don't think our relationship is working out. <laughs> Another day in paradise with you. <laughs> get married. Nope, we're done. Time to get back to work. You gave me your badge. That's what I wanted. Now too. So you got to do what I say, right? Uh, because that's how it works. <laughs> that's not how it works. For, I'm sorry. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias <laughs> Cartwright. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I've, I've never seen you be you've literally just appreciated my marriage. Through our fine city. <laughs> if you run into any problems in my town, all right. So now that that's done, me. actually, tell the rangers. Shall we do Is the other it? mission? Yes. I was expecting like birds or cakes. Modern ceremonies are really a letdown. We should have at least had a cake. 
Then again, we didn't have a cake. Because we didn't have a ceremony to speak of. Well, we sort of did. But anything as an excuse to get cake. Okay. So, we are not doing that. We are... We are destroying the Crimson Fleet at Olympus. Um, but before that... The rock might have some work for some. Yeah, it's pointing me at where I landed, but that's not where I'm going. Uh, it's this way, isn't it? Yeah. Where? Uh, ship landing pad. I'm removing the passenger. Yeah. Lines. Make the ship a little yeah. more maneuverable. I'm going to be fighting. This is why I did it in this order, for reference. For those of you that may be playing Starfield, there is an auto-run button, they just don't have it mapped by default. Or an auto-move, I should say. Also, when you do changes to your ship, a ship some work gets done? moved here. Yep. So, hey, I'm aware. what can I do for you? Okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. There we go. Back to where it was. Except, get back 300 credits, which I desperately need given how poor I am now. And, oh yeah. Let's take a look at Sam's badge. Got a plaque? Mm hmm. You can mount it at a wall at the home or outpost. Neat. Might as well just walk there instead of fast traveling since it's right there. With the laser in the ground. Yep. Want to hit a bump? Uh, okay, sorry. There. I was lost in the. Now you're not pestering the captain, right? How can I help? Pester? You think I'm a pest? Oh, never. Poor choice of words. You being nice to the crew too? Of course. So this book collection fund I heard about? <laughs> don't you always say, don't listen to rumors? Late. <laughs> Alright, time to sleep with my husband. Get on me. Uh, last night? Need something? Totally worth the bruise. <laughs> Apparently, something I bruised him? Uh, Sarah, why are you squishing me? Oh yeah, the others had things to ask me about too. Yeah, probably about the star bar. Probably. Eh, do that next time. Just really like the conversation with Barry the first time. I'll do that after the couple. Cleared for the That's one of my favorite lights in the game. Stay in orbit or jump. Your call. Why would we ever stay in orbit? Great with people. Yeah, but you don't loot much stuff, so. I loot plenty of things, just not nailing everything nailed down like you do. Olympus, if I remember correctly. Any planet in the Olympus system. Let's go to Erebus. Right. 
time to do a bit of QQing. Jump complete. Wanna do it again just for fun? No? Well, maybe later. Um, put your power into uh, engines. You can almost power the entire system. Almost. If you had uh, Vesco on your crew, you could. Yeah. But I don't have Vesco on my crew. Because then he'd just keep those on me. All weapons online! are down. Great. Just your ballistic. Ah! Weapons are back and so are we! Maybe I'll just destroy them instead. Mm -hmm. What the time? We've blown out that grab drive. Well, your shields have regenerated. Nickel. Yeah, you're gonna want to set out an outpost to produce nickel. That's the only viable way of filling that order. That is unfortunate. If it was a small order, 500 units, then you might be able to get by with just grabbing whatever you had stored at the launch. Of course, mm -hmm. this character. Probably doesn't even have 200. No, probably not. Okay. I took a little bit of damage, but... Not much. I only used one chip part, and I gained one chip part, so that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now that we've done that... Now let's talk to them. Yeah, I should have enough time. Still wearing the stupid cowboy hat. Sam You've got something for me? Hat. I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, yeah, I don't know where to begin. The Starborn's technology is yeah, simply actually. astonishing. It's just almost too much to process. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to talk to no you. No one's gonna the believe Star me if Wars I tell them you could do that. <laughs> I wasn't really that impressed. <laughs> Must be pretty shaken up about the whole thing. Yes, I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You do understand the significance yes. of this encounter, don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, we could learn so much from them. Shot them down just the same. Mm -hmm. The way they behaved, I'd say that's not very likely. If we are to learn anything from the Starborn, we're going to have to take the initiative ourselves. I don't think they're going to be willing to teach us anything, though. That's what disturbs me. 
can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they're here to lay claim to the artifacts, but what's their true motivation? What aren't they telling us? Oh, I have a Serpent's Embrace Ooh. option. Maybe they've been sent as some sort of herald for the Great Serpent's Return. I wonder who's going to dislike that. Interesting. Though, I feel there's a more scientific reason behind their existence. No offense, of course. Damn. Been taken. That was oh, me as a kid. I knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. <laughs> Obviously, but there has to be more to these beings than simply originating from another world. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there. Something that feels very old, perhaps even ancient. Whatever the case may be, I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. Why do you think they call themselves the Starborn? Mm, I'm not really sure. Scientifically speaking, we're all born from the stars. We're all made of star stuff. Most of the chemical components of our body, carbon, oxygen, sulfur, are exactly the same as those manufactured by internal stellar reactions. Now, ask someone like Matteo the same question, and he'd probably give a more theological answer. But hey, it's all a guessing game anyway. But yeah, nope, we need to learn more. Exactly. We must use all of the tools at our disposal to learn more about the Starborn and their connection to the artifacts. Nope. I certainly hope so. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, <laughs> I'd lay on You're the ground and sound. stare up at the stars. Yeah. I was absolutely convinced they held a secret. And they do. I'd remain there for hours in silence, eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering, and I need to hear what they have to say. A few things I'd love to whisper in your ear right now. Hmm. Although I'm flattered that you think <laughs> there's a time and a place for flirt with talk. everyone. This is definitely not one of them. Well then, I've certainly wasted enough of your Always choose time. flirt. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. There's only a dozen of you. Just saying. There's only ten members of the constellation. It's approximating. Anyway, Barrett. Who's probably up here? No. Oh. Where'd Barrett go? Did he disappear? Mm, he might be... Cora, Mom says anything, later this year we can spend a whole week together. A week! Bye! I mean, you can always use your sense star stuff power. It's probably sitting on one of the jump seats near the cockpit. Hey, Boy. Dad. Yep. yep. Will you read to me tonight? But I can't bed? get to him because Cora is standing like there. Yeah, there should be a way to yeah, nudge to do people. That time. And will you do funny voices for the characters? Like you used to when I was little? You know what? It's going to be easier for me to move. Because that will bring me back to the cockpit anyway. When I land all. Doc can just get up and yep. explode forward? Uh-huh. 
wish you could skip that animation, because that's nice the first time, but you really don't need to have it each time. You're in a bad position, hatch. aren't you? We're docked. Yeah, my... Uh, um... Leg's starting to fall asleep? No, my left heel is hurting from uh, the pressure. Yeah, Zone has a tendency to cause this Can to I happen. help? You're still there. He is. Human, right? By the way, you can toggle the power names. Oh, that is handy. I don't know why I didn't notice that. I only noticed that today. Sure, I've got a minute. I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about it. Right? Too. How could we not talk about it for the rest of our lives? Uh, yeah, that's a fair point. It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. <laughs> Time travelers. I didn't detect any localized time distortion, which isn't required for that hypothesis, but... Oh, yeah? Joking. I knew that. <laughs> Jeez. We just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. <laughs> Zone is a big kitty. I mean, we know they wanted the artifact, so that has to be significant. It's one of our few facts about them. It seemed very important to them, too. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction, or some sort of elite military tech, or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do. All we know is that they wanted that artifact badly. <laughs> First of all, nice. <laughs> Secondly, I think we ought to focus on, you know, this potential the milestone for our entire species. But uh, I am pretty bad at multitasking, so we'll have to return to the uh, first item later. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. Yeah, no. Of course, by the time I had this conversation, I was already in a relationship with Barry. Your ship smells so much better than Dad's? Like, a lot. Isn't it our ship now? <sighs> home sweet home. Wait. No? No? A lot of the companions react as if you're entering your ship when you're entering a space station. I heard they're making a new class of ship here. Alright. Well, we're making progress now. This is going great. Just fantastic. So is I just need to complete two different types of missions, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. What can't your ship do, Jules? Does it do taxes? Play the accordion? Maybe I shouldn't give you ideas. So you managed to complete a couple different missions. This will give us lots of data to support building a ship that can tackle a variety of scenarios. Of course, if we build a ship like that, we may need the kitchen sink budget, but we'll see. Thanks for your help. Now we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> Why does it make it seem like a, you're asking me to do some sort of Herculean task? Because I'd be lying if I told you it wasn't. And as long as I'm being honest, it's kind of my fault. I had this idea that we should all collaborate on the design because I thought it'd give us the best results. And I'm not willing to give up on that idea. But it's made this challenging because it made everyone equally invested and no one wants to give up anything. <laughs> but I'll make sure I'll get everybody working together. You seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently?
What have you tried so far? Okay, for real. It's mostly been just a bunch of arguing. First, we tried a group brainstorming session, and that went about as well as you can imagine. We tried individual designs, but that backfired. We've had meetings focused on individual aspects of the ship, and that just mm -hmm. prolonged the process. I could have put my foot down and made a decision, but then I'd be giving up on my idea that collaboration will build us the best ship. That, and I don't want anyone to resign because of me. So, team building in something like this is probably not the correct answer, but I'm really curious to see what would happen if I chose that. Did you choose it? Uh, I went with making everyone give, give up, up something. But team building is the way to go. You know what? Why not? I'll try anything at this point. Stranger things have happened. And since you mentioned the idea, I think you should uh -huh. be the one to lead us in the guided meditation. <laughs> Just feed us a steady stream of whatever affirmations you've got. I don't know if it will solve the design conflict, but of maybe God. it'll get mm -hmm. everyone working with each other again. And I'll take what I can get, even if it leads to a more ridiculous design. So, you're sure about this? <laughs> Yep, let's do it. Okay, this, is an this awful should idea. be interesting since I doubt any of us know what we're doing with this. Okay, everyone, listen up. Our new friend offered to lead us in a group meditation session as a sort of team building exercise. Everyone take a deep breath, try to relax, and we'll get started momentarily. <sighs> listen to what they okay. say and repeat their affirmations. Everything is future. Uh, teamwork is pretty good, I guess. No, we are stronger and better together. Teamwork. Teamwork. Stronger, stronger, teamwork. Better, teamwork. better together. <laughs> Amusing proposition, but I'll let Walter make that decision if it comes down to it. I am confident you will succeed. <laughs> Just finish the damn project, okay? I trust my team and my teammates are doing their best. I am good at what I do. What I, do. I am. <laughs> I am. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Thank you for leading us. I hope that was somewhat relaxing at least. Yeah, yeah it, it was, kinda. It was fine. I'm good to go over here. You know what? I'll do whatever anyone wants, so long as I never have to go through something <laughs> like that again. <laughs> Okay, everyone. I think that's it. Let's get back to work. That is. Uh, Shall we do that next time? No, we should finish else. this. Yeah. We're I know we're over. Super but... glad you're here, right, everyone? Well, we are. Based on the decisions you made, well, I'm not quite sure what kind of ship we're going to end up with, but it should be capable in a variety of situations. It sure will have a lot of stuff to it. You know more detail about the ship that we're making. This ship's going to be big, and it's going to have the best components available. I'm sure it'll be very capable of handling any situation thrown at it. This thing is going to be a beast, and I don't know how we're going to make it look halfway presentable. My only other concern comes down to the sticker price and how we're going to actually sell such a monstrosity, but that's marketing's problem now. Poor Nev. You think you're going to run into this issue again? I hope not, but it's possible. If the ship sells well enough, the board will have no problem increasing the budget next time. The data you gathered for us will last a while, too. And I think I picked up some useful techniques from you to help us work together better. All right, uh, let me know if there's anything else I can do. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. 
If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. Also, so, how close are you to being able to pilot the class C ship? Almost halfway. Yeah. Maybe I should go into the UC training room to finish that off. Maybe. But that is something for another time. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye. Save and exit.